Today we are opening the first three legendary collections ever made. What's up guys, today we will be opening the first three legendary collections ever made. The other two are binders, so they're obnoxious to put on the screen, but we have the legendary collection through UE's world. This is one of the coolest ones because it has some awesome GOAT format reprints, so I'm really excited to open this one, but we do have a quick giveaway. These three original print cards, all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite of the three legendary collections. They're all pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna open these up real quick, then we're gonna hop into it. Okay, so we have the uh, legendary collection binder here. These binders are obnoxiously large, but they are extremely cool because they're the original 2010 binder. So this this binder came out as I said 2010. They later reprinted it as a game board similar to the Yugi's Legendary Dex one or not Dex, the uh, Legendary Collection Yugi's World one. And it made it a lot easier to actually open. But this one is a lot cooler to be honest because you have you know the God cards in here. I'll leave them in there for now because we already know what those are. You know we've seen the God cards before. So let's just pull out the packs and the other promos. So for our promos we have the blue eyes, the red eyes, and the dark magician no surprise there i'm just the classic cards then we have one of each of the first no it's not the first five we have the first four and then we have dark crisis and invasion of chaos yes this is not master collection like yesterday that was the first six legendary collection two was very similar to legendary collection one as it came in the binder and then later they reprinted it in the game board in like 2018 i think i remember when that happened i was really excited because i'd never opened this set so let's open up this and i'm really hoping that i know a lot of people are hoping that they do the same thing with yugi where they had the unlimited print out for a long time, but they haven't actually done like a reprint, I don't think, like they did with these. So I hope they will do that and give us some access to those really cool Goat Seeker rares. Even though they are not first edition, they're still really cool. So the first editions can kind of hang on to their value. You got to like open this thing legit, like pull it out of this sleeve. That's actually really cool. I don't think I've ever opened one of these now that I think about it. All right, very nice. Let's go like that. It has styrofoam in it? Oh my goodness, this is legit. All right, so it's got styrofoam. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've definitely never opened this now that I think about it. The promos are all in their own little thing. Yeah, they definitely improved the binder from the first one to the second one, just in terms of logistics and how they put it in here. So we got five of the mega packs. These are extremely cool. They have some really cool stuff. So this is first edition. Some of the stuff's actually really valuable, so it's pretty nice. And then we've got the, uh, the promos. And of course you get the sacred beasts. And finally, we get the Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World. The difference between this one and the Unlimited is this is a window right here where there's actually a card, the Seal of Orichalcos, in here. On the other one, it's just a print, like a picture, and it's just part of the front. Okay, let's get into this thing. These are first edition too, and man, some of these Legendary Collection Yugi's World first edition cards, like Dark Magician Girl and Dark Paladin and all that stuff, they get really expensive. This is going to be a fun opening for sure. I mean, I think Legendary Collection is one of the coolest lines of product that konami's ever made in my opinion i really like them dark necrofear i think it's even cooler when they're like reprint sets than just reprints of the originals i think the originals are really cool i take that back because if we didn't have reprints of the originals we wouldn't be able to open them all so easily you also do get a game board in here and of course the card but we're not going to pull all that out right now we're just going to get into the opening we don't have a ton of packs here we have six original packs we have legendary collection two five packs and i think five of the legendary collection three these are all very high quality packs they're very nice stuff so let's see what we can pull. Let's start off with my favorite one, the Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World Pack. I'm looking for some sort of cool GOAT format secret rares. Uh, of course, the Dark Magician Girl is a really big one. Exodia is in here as a secret rare. So we're looking for all that stuff. Here we go. We have a Chain Disappearance. Here are our first edition cards. Horus the Black Flame Dragon. These would be like really cool, Toon Cannon Soldier, to do like a, a sealed only kind of thing with this set. There's a lot of really fun cards to play with. Toon Cannon card. Cannon card. Cannon soldier, okay. Breaker the Magical Warrior. There you go. There's a GOAT format card. An ultra rare breaker. That's got to be worth at least a couple of bucks. That's very nice. I know this one's worth a lot because Torrential has gotten pretty expensive recently. And Secret Rare First Edition, that's a very good one. Oh, that's awesome. And it looks so good. I mean, Torrential already looks good. Just that I really like that artwork. It's very simple. It kind of looks like ice to me. Um, I think that looks really nice. Whitehorn Dragon. We've got the Magical Dimension. That was, oh, we got two horses in the same pack. That was a heck of a pack. Let's leave these up. Already off to an incredible start. We have Legendary Collection 2. I kind of, I'm getting really excited. I didn't really, like, realize. I was like, Oh yeah, these are some of my favorite sets once we actually get into the opening. Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle. In here we can get like Super Poly, the Elemental Heroes come in secret rare, like the, the vanilla ones, which are our alternate art and stuff. It's really cool. 
Gateway of the Six, and then some of the big ones too. And Cyber and Dragon, Cyber Dragon Alternate Art, Cyber Dragon Regular Art, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. Bubble Shuffle. Elemental Hero Electrum. Not not one of the favorite Elemental Heroes, probably. Gladiator Beast of the Quarry. I always pull at least one of these when, when I'm opening this. Destiny and Dragoon. Okay, pretty decent pack. Okay, we got the Bubble Man. There's a lot less cards than that one, I feel like. Nine cards versus... Oh, it is nine cards. Okay, never mind. I take it back. All right, what do we want to open here? Let's go with uh, Dark Crisis first. This is probably one of the least exciting of the six. I mean, it's still a great set. And, uh, I mean, we pulled Shinado the other day. I'm grading that one, by the way. We will have a PSA return video with, like, seven cards, so I'm pretty excited about that. Arsenal Summoner. We got the Agito. The Gyakugair Penda. Dark Scorpion Mene the Thorn. Infernal Queen Archfiend. Okay, Vileponn Archfiend. Oh, Final Countdown. Uh, these are sticking together. That's actually a pretty decent common. Let's continue on the Yugi's World Train. This has been our really good one so far. Man, I love this set. This set's so fun. I've never opened first edition. I think this is the first time. Guardian Trice. We've got the Draining Shield. Mystic Box. Monster Reincarnation. Beckoning Light. Okay, I don't think that one's too good. Secret Rare. Here we go. There's, here's where the big ones come up. Feather of the Phoenix. Not the one we're looking for. Reckless Greed. It's a cool super rare. It's not a bad card. You can get to draw two, but then you don't get to draw two for two turns. All right. Legendary Collection 2. These are very brittle. Like, they're opening very easily. Compared to those uh, OCG packs I'd open for Master Collection, man, this is like a, a dream. D Fortune. We got the Infernal Gainer. We got the, uh, what, how do you say that? The Nosp? Is that the K? Silent? I don't know. Ooh, Rainbow Dragon. That's pretty cool. That's a nice card. And Shogun Shien. That is a cool one. I do like that card. Uh, six Samurais are always pretty awesome. That's a pretty... Ooh. Elemental Hero. Dark Bright. Boom. There we go. Let's not get too crazy. But there's the Prisma. I think Prisma is actually an okay card. All right. Let's get into the Spell Ruler pack. Let's pull some epic cards like Relinquished. If you guys saw, I love playing with Relinquished. One of my favorite cards to use. Whiptail Crow. Gravekeeper Servant. That card is extremely annoying, for sure. UFO, Turtle, Jigginbakadon, Wall Shadow, and Peacock. Legendary Collection 3. I think there's one extra pack here, so we might have to do a double round for the original sets real quick, so we don't get ahead. Okay, we have Swift Guy of the Fierce Knight. That's a cool common, to be honest. Giant Soldier of Stone, my boy. The Dark Door. This card's pretty annoying, too. It's a stall card. Queen's Knight. There's a throwback to the Queen's Knight. For, there's King's Court stuff for you. Solemn Judgment Secret Rare and Boganian. Okay, we are getting some absolutely awesome Secret Rares. Solemn Judgment is always going to be a very nice one. First Edition Secret Rare. Talk about some nice trap cards. All right, Yugi's World, I see you. That's pretty good. Wow, this has been really nice so far. All right, Legendary Collection 2. Can you live up to the hype of 3? Can you pull us something epic? Because I know there's a lot of epic cards in here. Blade. What is that? Blade Master? Okay, Plasma Vice. Crystal Beacon. Light in Dragon. That's a pretty cool one. And Best CR. We're gonna be playing Gladiator Beast. After that, we got Inferno, Marine Neos, Judgment Dragon as a common, and Bubble Man. That's pretty cool. Not fantastic, but still pretty cool. I think Gladiator Beast do have a little bit of value, which is still pretty cool. They are cool cards for sure. I just hate Gladiator Beast. I hate playing against them. Respect play. You got the volcano. Uh vol not vol. <laughs> Flame champion. What am I talking about? Attack and receive. The Gravity Bind. They got a little bit of an error on the name. And a gust. Slight error. Very slight. Don't get triggered by that. Invasion of Chaos. Let's keep going. Blackluster Soldier. I'm going to say it every single time until we pull it one day. Stumbling. Desk Kangaroo. We've got the Pinch Hopper. The Blazing Impachi. He's got that zero defense. Compulsory Evacuation. Device. I can't speak today. Terra King Salmon. I had to like restart the intro like 10 times because my voice kept catching. I was like, what is happening right now? <laughs> okay, we still got six packs left in this opening. Been pretty fun so far. Solemn Morning Common. Man, Yugi's World is just so good. All right, there's a Dark Sage Common. Let's set that over there. Dark Sage Common too. That's, a, that's just really cool. Blackluster Ritual. Curse of Dragon. King's Knight. We're getting the whole set. And... Sinister Serpent, actually a really cool one for GOAT format. Summon Skull Super Rare? 
Wow, that's got to be at least something, just for the fact that it's Summon Skull. That's pretty cool. I mean, Secret Rare Sinister Serpent's really nice. That's probably the second best version behind the original game promo. The game promo is amazing. All right, Legendary Collection 2. We haven't hit anything huge out of here. I would love a Cyber Dragon or a big element, or an, even a vanilla elemental hero. Six Samurai Eru. We can play some Six Sams after this. Crystal Right Geki. Crystal Promise. Hydra Genon, a classic. And... Fifth Hope, we have the ultimate rare first edition of this. Oh, wow, that does look good as a secret rare. Phenomenon, that's also a very cool one. All right, we got Lady Heat and Hero Heart. All right, not the best pack, but still really cool. Metal Raiders, one of my favorite sets. Pro Actually, it is my favorite set, to be honest. Giga Tech Wolf, can we get the Pecanio Moth? Labyrinth Tank, Soggy the Dark Clown, Punished Eagle, Dark Elf. Oh, Cocoon, my Cocoon of Evolution. Prevent Rat, Mystic Lamp, and Gazelle, the King Mythical Beast. All right, no Pequeno Moth this time, but that's okay. Three more packs in the opening. Can we pull an epic secret rare or anything epic? Chain Destruction. Let's pull that Dark Magician, girl. Sorcerer of Dark Magic is a common in here, which is really cool. DNA Surgery. Black Illusion Ritual. There's also some random commons that are worth like $8. I know Horus Level 8 is like worth $8 for some reason. As a regular common, not even a rare. All right. Fire Princess. That's That card's pretty interesting. And... Mystical Space Typhoon. I mean, talk about awesome cards. Gravity Bind as a super rare. If you ever want to play your stall strategy uh, in hollow version, there you go. This is such a nice secret rare, too. The secret rare is a little bit hard to see on the first editions. When they made the unlimited print, they actually made the secret rare look better somehow. I don't know how they did it, but it was really, really nice. So that's still a really good pull, though. Two more packs. Legendary Collection 2. Let's pull this guy. We got a Miracle Kids. Voltic. Glow Neos. Proto Cyber Dragon. And a Gladiator Beast Hoplomus. Why is that a secret rare? Didi Crow, that's a good super rare, actually. But why is Hoplomus a secret rare? We pulled three Gladiator Beasts out of the five the five secret rare slots. That's crazy. And the final pack of the video. We have Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. The 2010 packs look a lot different than the new reprints. I mean, just look at this. It's so light. It's very interesting. Can we end this off with a Blue Eyes White Dragon? I would be totally okay with it, to be honest. I would not be mad at all. Let's, can I open this thing? There we go. All right. We've got the Machine Conversion Factory. This sucker adds 300 attacker defense to a machine-type monster. That is unbelievably powerful. We have the Monster Egg, a warrior hidden within an egg that attacks enemies by flinging eggshells. I've never read that. That's actually really funny. Lesser Dragon. He's incapable of breathing fire. So he's lesser. That is just messed up. Dragons are very judgmental. That's all I got to tell you. Uh, why is it always dark hole? Yesterday ended with a dark hole. Today ended with a dark hole. I've ended so many openings with a dark hole. It's not even funny. So if we want to destroy all monsters on the field, we've got that covered. Another dark hole. That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that legendary collection one through three opening i certainly did that was really fun to open maybe i should get more of those if you guys have any of the unlimited prints or even some more first edition maybe hit me up and maybe we can do this again especially two and three i really enjoy those shout out to tcg trusted cards tone fo show tomato juice stanley mike nance and mimic gecko thank you guys for supporting the channel that's it for this video i'll see you guys later peace Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!